Hello everyone, today is a different kind of type video to the ones that I would usually upload and um, it's kind of a sad one too, I guess. Let me let me just get right into it. Yesterday I was watching a video from Cupquake and most of you should know who she is. She's a pretty well-known YouTuber and I watch a lot of her Sims 3 Let's Plays and she uploaded one yesterday and it was kind of like a, a tribute to another YouTuber, another Simmer. And I watched it and thought, hey, let me just check out the other person's channel. And her name's Queen, spelled Q-U-X-X-N. But Cupquake pronounced it Quinn, I don't know why. But yeah, her name's Queen, and I went to her channel and I had a listen to her voice and how she was, she was just, she sounded like a really, really lovely girl. She sounded really optimistic and happy. And when I was watching through her videos, it was making me laugh how, how happy she was to be playing The Sims and how much she loved it and how much she knew about it as well. Like a lot of people that play Sims just, she knows like the Sims like the back of her hand and it was really amazing to see someone love a game that much. It was cute as well. And um quite sad because the last video she uploaded, even though she sounded really happy, you could hear in her voice she was a little bit sick. And she did say and she said it optimistically as well, that she was gonna be having surgery and she'll be back within about a week or so, back to normal and she sounded really happy about it and really confident that everything was going to go alright. Now, I mean, I don't know her as a person. I don't know her personally. I've only just watched a few of her videos. And, I mean, it's always sad when someone passes away. It's never a good thing. So I just thought it would be nice to make this video as a tribute to someone who seemed like a really, really genuine and lovely person. So, um, another thing that I saw on Cupquake's video is that they are trying to run a petition to get a pre-made queen character made into The Sims 4 as a tribute to her and her love for The Sims. And I thought that that was just the most sweetest thing ever. So although I don't actually... I was never subscribed to her when she was alive, I just thought it would be great to get the word out because this really is, like, just a really cool thing to do for someone in remembrance of them and I mean imagine if she's looking down from heaven and she sees her own character in The Sims that would just be the best thing ever for her so I've just put this video up to let everybody know that there's a petition going on and I'm gonna link it in the description and I want everybody who watches this to go and sign the petition it's at over 6,000 signatures at the moment me being one of them of course and I mean I've heard that um, EA, well, not that they're going to decline it, but that they're not as accepting with these kind of things. But, I mean, if we get loads of people to petition here, then they may actually consider it, and it would be the best thing ever for Queen. Now, I feel really, really sorry for her family, for her friends, for everyone that knew her, for all of her fellow subscribers, because... The difference between, I don't know, I can't, let's say someone you see on TV, like a, a character or a singer and then a YouTuber, maybe this is just me, but with a YouTuber you feel like you have more of a personal connection with them, as opposed to singers or actors or, I don't know, cartoon characters or things like that. So when you hear that something bad has happened to a YouTuber, you feel like something bad has happened to your friend, and you can literally feel it, you can feel it in your heart that you're upset. Whereas with famous people, it doesn't impact you as much. And I mean, I didn't even know her, but when I was watching her videos, it literally brought a tear to my eye, because she was so young and so happy and 